<laughs> oh, I gotta keep it pulled up so I can go back. <laughs> I can't imagine writing all this. You could just get a blog. Ethan Ralph. It's either he talks about himself, us, or one of his other enemies, which is everyone, because he stinks. I'm sure Ralph's audience wants to hear about how AIM AIM happened four years ago, or how I do coke, or how Ashton is fat. I'm sure his audience loves that. Whenever we talk about Ralph, it's new and fresh. It happens the day before. LOL, are you mean two weeks before? He's such a screw up, and it's always something insane, and way more embarrassing than what anyone else has done. All he can do is yell Aborski and Ashton, and then add lies to make us look bad. But everyone sees through the lies. The truth is, he is a sad man. His only friend is the shopkeeper who said two sentences to him the other day. No family, no friends, no one by his side. He claims no one is loyal to him. He doesn't realize he is such an intolerable piece of garbage that it is impossible to stay loyal. I tried to be that guy's friend. He is so self-absorbed and a narcissistic douchebag. He didn't realize the show wasn't him. It was all the co-hosts and the guests. Alone, he is nothing. He calls out others for their past mistakes, but people aren't defined by their mistakes. They are defined by what they become and how they grow, unless they're a pedo or terrorist, in which case they can face the wall. And he can call all of his enemies out all he wants for their previous mistakes. Motherfucking shit. But... <laughs> Sorry, I messed up. Let me turn the autoplay off. Damn, I was on roll, too. I hate autoplay. <laughs> But, but the things we have done are what? Four to five even more years old? Most rational people understand people can grow and learn. But Ralph, Ralph's entire life is a mistake. Every trip he takes, every friend he makes, every person who has shown him love, he pisses it away. For what? To call himself the king? The king of what? Of a shack in Mexico covered in piss bottles? They were cans, actually. Of the tens and thousands of dollars in debt? He lost America first. He lost the A-logs. He lost his family. He now sits in a botted 500 viewer rumble stream, which is about 100 real viewers, if that. He has nine people in chat, Max. And he has no skills to actually put on a show. There is no content. We moved on for months without Ralph. Untrue. Content into some, un into some interesting directions and got more love for it. Without Ralph hollering about me, PPP, or anyone else, he is just a man who watches the news. With what can only be described as the worst commentary I've ever seen. I don't believe he wrote this. He will be watching something about the war, pauses it, and then talks about what kind of crappy Mexican chips he's eating. They're delicious. I know what I know he is trying to sober up and change his life. What's the point? He is nothing without the bottle. At least when he drinks, he is tolerable to watch. Sober Ralph is trash. He keeps trying to be this motivated made of motivational speaker by god i'm changing my life around he talks about how inspiring he is and how life is amazing i don't know that i said either one of those things but but he fell off the wagon like 12 times this year this guy calls me kokski but i actually quit doing drugs i mean i party every once in a excuse me i mean a party once in a while is still fun though if you can control it and keep it chill he will call me Kokski, but this guy opens one beer and it's over for him. Crashing car, more like Xanax, but crashing cars, pushing friends away, losing money, ruining his streaming career. Who is he to bash my addiction when I got mine under control? And why is he bashing Coke? He loves Coke. Maybe it's all a coat because he's too broke to afford it. If you put a line in front of that pig, he would snort it in half a second. And I wouldn't blame him. This guy is acting like he is a more moral and has the high ground over coke users when he can't even handle a beer without ruining it ruining his life give me a break lastly he claims he is leaving the sector ralph you can't you are the sector your life revolves around people talking smack about you every other show has been able to talk about other topics all you can do is watch youtube videos in the news silently waiting for a three buck donation that calls you a pig just so you can pay child support you may as well walk into the sunset andy juarez pierski of Toronto, not Toronto, because he's too poor to live in Toronto, but Mississauga. There we go. <sighs> you are the sector. At least Tarski knows his role. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of a compliment, wasn't it? <sighs>
By the way, he's definitely on the coke. I hadn't read that whole thing. I only saw that one paragraph. I didn't know he spent all that time. Damn, like I was kind of joking with the title and my tweet, but now I'm convinced he is on the coke. Then he talks about getting his addiction under control. That's what somebody says when they're still on drugs. <laughs> I ain't got shit under control. You don't see me drinking or doing anything because I would be out of control immediately. Um, and not from one beer, no. But uh, one beer would be leading to other stuff. So needed the music, but 9 out of 9 performance. Yeah, it did. It had to have that music. <clears throat> this was posted at 5 a.m. Yeah, I was asleep. Thank goodness I haven't been able to get a lot of sleep. But I was fast asleep, and uh, I woke up to all kinds of people tagging me with that. And I was like, dude, I don't even care. Like, what the fuck? Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.